really enjoyed the day that he and Lynn hosted student leaders and staff at their beautiful home. It was a great day to disconnect, really get to know each other. Um, I specifically remember a very heated cranium board game that lasted several hours in Max and Lynn's living room. But that day is a perfect example of how much Max truly cared about the people that attended the university and the people that worked at the university. The first time we all went over to uh, Max and Lynn's house, we went out for a walk. It was pretty muddy because it was the spring and he was very concerned that I wouldn't be able to make over this very muddy patch in the backyard. So he literally took me and firearmed me over his shoulder uh, and made sure that I did not sink into the mud that day. And I really think that helped our bond for the rest of our year, the year. In, in 2009, we had a very difficult situation in Waterloo College Hall. And we had a meeting the day after with all of the students. And at the time, I was at Dawn. Uh, and I thought everybody had left the room and it was just some of the dogs left and um, I broke down and I didn't really know who was around and I remember somebody put their hand on my shoulder and sort of sitting beside me and I thought it was a friend of mine uh, and I looked up and it was Max and he sat there with me for like 10 minutes and just talked to me um, and that's something I'll always uh, be thank thankful of is his thoughtfulness and his um, going out of the way to help others. So one thing I've always admired about Max is despite having the portfolio that he does, he remains extremely relatable to everyone he comes in contact with. It's it really, there is no comparison how much time and how much passion and energy Max actually gives to students. Max is someone that I've always had a lot of respect for and I remember when I first became president, he said to me, uh, you know, we're gonna learn from each other. I thought that was something really profound to say because for someone who's spent his whole year, uh, his career in academia, to say that he could still learn something from me when I was just a student, that's something that really resonated with me and showed me how important he values education and learning. He made the time, right? He made the time to, to have those monthly meetings with me and have those discussions about important issues and he didn't really deflect. So the lesson really is to value the people around you value your family, but also value the community you've built. And I really do think he helped build the Laurier community into what it is. I don't feel like Max ever just jumped to any conclusions about anyone or anything. I feel like he was always very patient and poignant and, and did his due diligence to learn about a person or to learn about a particular subject matter. To surround yourself with good people, but also swing big. So I believe that Max's legacy will be how he has taken on the multi-campus challenges that Laurier has faced over the past 10 years. The ability to take a look at Laurier Brantford coming in in 1999 and carry that straight through to his final year uh, now as a fully developed campus and looking forward to the future, I think that's something that will be uh, fondly remembered when we think about Max. Max, it is impossible to sum everything up in a short video for you, so I will simply just say thank you. Thanks very much, Max. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, I hope you know the impact that you've had, not just on the people who have worked with you, but every single student who have walked the doors at Laurier. I wish you all the best in the future, and thanks once again. Thank you, Max. Honestly, it's been great getting to know you and great working with you as well, and I appreciate everything you've done for me and for Laurier. Thank you, Max. I wish you the best with your retirement. Uh, I hope you're looking forward to spending more time with Lynn and the kids and the grandkids, and of course, playing around with your tractors on the farm. Thank you.